Welcome everybody, Steve here. Today we're on the other side of our uh, 72 short box and I'm going to get started on the inside. I didn't really take a look at it until I just felt it up a bit and uh, yeah we got lots of work on this one too but that's okay we'll get her done. So we've got a couple of dingers on the outside and I want to make sure that everything's all looked after here we're going to do the same as the other side make sure that you know this is done first then we can get in the other side because it's a single wall yeah that one there is pretty tough we'll figure it out looks like somebody uh looks like somebody shot it almost looks like a you know a bullet had hit that or something hmm interesting anyway gonna take you around to the back and show you what we're going to do today this area here, little brother was working on it. He had to cut it, kind of give it a couple grinder marks here, grinder cuts, just to relieve that a little bit. But we got to get it a little flatter than what he's got it. So let's take the dolly, hammer and dolly. chunk out of here kind of damaged and then I think this was bent down I'm not sure anyway got to weld this back in there so what we're gonna do is now anytime you got something like this and you weld it chances are this is either gonna lift up or pull down what we're gonna do a piece of angle iron here just gonna make sure that it Stays as straight as it can get. All right. I think we want this bottom to be flat. I think what we're going to have to do, that looks all right. We're going to put a piece of metal in here, across here. So let me get that, get her set up, and then we can tack that in. Getting her all clamped in like this is, it's kind of nice because it takes the guesswork out of it. Maybe a little tough holding on to that. Hold on.
up a bit. That is looking good. Now we are going to turn our attention to this little spot right there. It's pretty rough. I'm going to have to do some magic. First things first, we got a lot of high spots here. We're going to shrink those down. Just use a stud gun for that. Peel them off. I got a little bit of snow inside my rag here. If we don't uh, shrink this, it's just going to oil can on us. in here we're gonna have to weld the nut on and pull these guys out but now I got the uh, it's tight so that's good you'd be amazed what you can do with that stud gun when it comes to shrinking give it a try I can only imagine what it'd be like working on the uh, inner part of these uh, boxes without the rotisserie you know, I can wheel it down fairly low and get right at her. Unlike a Chevy that you just unbolt the side and put it on a bench. But the luxury is mine and I am going to take full advantage of it. And I'm going to show you later on at the end of the uh, video uh, what it looks like. The uh, We'll get underneath the box and I'll show you how we attach the uh, rotisserie. And give you an idea if you decide to take that route. You know, it feels really good when you uh, you got a spot. This was really damaged. I know you can't see it in the camera, but it was rough. And you know, when you can make it look good, it just kind of makes your day go well. I wanted to get some filler going today, so I met my goal. Looking good. See, life is about choices, the way I figure it. I could bend up a piece of uh, sandpaper sit here and uh, do this or I just use my oscillating tool take care of this little guy right here I gotta really think that that's a bullet maybe a 22 short I don't know but it's not as easy as it looks I've been racking my brain trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this 
And you know, if it was wide open, I just uh, cut it, maybe just, you know, pull it out, re-weld it. But let me show you what the problem is. It's right behind this. But I can access it with the hole, through the hole. So I'm thinking of using my air hammer with the tool on the end as a hammer. And I'm going to uh, give this an attempt. Let's see if it works. I'm kind of excited. I'm just uh, thinking here. Now, I bought this a long time ago, this long one. And the reason I bought it, I want to give it a try on, I've got a uh, end gate that I want to, you know, straighten out. And I thought, well, you just drill a hole and then you can get in there and, you know, play with the end gate, make sure it's all good. But this is a little too curved here. You know, when you want to work metal nice and flat, you need to have a flat surface. So what I'm going to do is I've, I thought, well, I'll use this right now to, to just get the majority of the uh, dent out and then I'm going to flatten this out to see if I can, uh, you know, work the metal and get it to a point where I don't have very much to do at all. So that's my goal. So let's give it a shot. I got it set on low. Oh yeah, I'll be right back. I gotta change the end. Alright. Now just because of the camera angle, I gotta do this left-handed, so. Something's happening, but this is moving around. So I'm gonna take this to the uh, grinder and I'm gonna flatten this out. So I'm just gonna use my grinder. <clears throat> so we wanna build the, you know, I want this for planishing, so it needs to be pretty flat. Let's see if we can achieve that. That looks pretty good. It's not perfect. Wonder if I can file that. Give it a try. The shape's changing, but let's crank her up another notch here.
Let's take a look at that now. That looks really, really good, but it's a little bit high. It's come out a little bit far. I figured it would stretch the metal a little bit. So I'll tap it down, see what happens. I may have to shrink that. We're close, but hammering doesn't seem to be doing anything, so I think I'm gonna shrink it a little bit, and uh, then I can hammer it down. Well, that's working way better now. My little hammer worked out really good on that one. I'll give that a grind. And uh, I think we got her. I was a little bit worried about that. I really was. I figured I would have to cut this out and then just, you know, weld it. Or, well, I would have ground it and then, you know, put a bolt and pulled it out. But I think it would have distorted it so much that, and I can't get in and bodywork it behind uh, that easily. So I'm happy. I got a new best friend now with that uh, flashing hammer. Feels good to be putting on some filler. A lot of work kind of getting everything all prepped up. It's kind of 80% of the job. But, the better job you do prepping, the easier it is to do body work, so. This is when you know you're getting close to being done. Progress is happening.
we got ourselves a little bit of a situation. Not that big of a deal, but we got a high spot right here. And I don't know how that happened, but whatever. I can put my uh, ruler on there and you can see that it's high. And I tried to hammer it a little bit, won't go. That means it's stretched a little bit, and that's not a big deal when you got a stud guy. Shrink it a little bit. Just cool it off. I don't want to shrink it too much. Let's see what we're at here. Just a little bit more. Trigger sticking. Now I should be able to tap that in. Oh, yeah, perfect. Now I don't want to bring it in too much because then I have to deal with it on the inside you know you can always have this a little bit lower when you're doing your body work but then it's a single skin so I got to deal with that on the inside again there give that light grind and then I can give it a little skim well everything's all kind of tuned up now so all I have to do is just fill everything. So today might be a productive day when it comes to filling. Hope so. So I'm just gonna keep on going. Probably fast forward that, all this stuff here for you so you don't get too bored and leave the channel. Exciting for me though. But well, we're just finishing up on the inside. It's looking really, really good. It's not really taking too much at all, but that's because we uh, spent quite a bit of time, you know, getting it flat. But I'm quite, quite pleased. It's a lot better than being disappointed. Give you a bit of an update on the uh, on the cab. So, brother, is let's get this in focus for you. Which way do I have to go here? Doing the floors, building his own panels up, and uh, they're looking really, really good.
That's the way to go. The uh, floor pans on these are fairly expensive. So tomorrow, we want to take this out and sandblast it. So that affects me. So this is what it looks like underneath our rotisserie. And you know, when you're able to do this with a uh, box hide and get underneath there, like that's the greatest thing in the whole world. So right now I've got to do some welding here. I've got, uh, we got some plugs here that need, need welding. Uh, Kevin didn't have time to do them all, so I'm gonna weld them up. Shouldn't take very long. And then uh, tomorrow, like I was just showing you the cap, tomorrow, taking the cab off, putting this on sawhorses. That way I can work on the floor and get that all done. And then, uh, then we're uh, just about ready for some primer on the inside, which is getting me all excited, because that's the toughest part of a box. All this stuff, that's, that's really easy. But anyway, I'm gonna get going on uh, plug welding all this stuff up. Uh, shouldn't take too long. Kind of fun doing all that kind of stuff. And uh, then we can tidy up a little couple loose ends here before the rotisserie goes. It's nice having it. Let me tell you, if you got to do one and you want to do a good job, maybe put a little bit of effort in. All right, get to work. Well, thanks for uh, watching and uh, thanks for subscribing and stay tuned for the next one.